What's going on, YouTube? I'm back to answer one of the best questions that you guys have asked uh, to date, and that is, how can I get dungeon motif drops? How do I get these rare motifs from dungeons, trials, etc.? What's the drop rates? How do I increase my odds? What are my odds on normal, hard mode, veteran, etc.? And I'm here to answer all of those questions for you. So let's jump right on into the first part of what I want to answer. And that's, how do you know if a motive that you want is from a dungeon? For example, is anything that I'm wearing currently from a dungeon? Well, let's take a look. And the answer is, is, is no. But there are a lot of dungeon motives. So for example, you have Refree's Will. You free? <laughs> You're free. Uh, but you can see that this is acquired by defeating the final boss in Earthen Root Enclave. Very straightforward. Now you might wonder to yourself, okay, well, what are the odds of me getting this if I was to complete and kill the final boss? And there's three levels of chance. That is if you do it on normal, veteran, or veteran hard mode. And the obvious, most easy way to do this to guarantee you get it, it's in the thumbnail. If you do this on hard mode, you are guaranteed to get a your freeze will motive. Why is that so helpful? And well, it's just good to know because if you do it, everyone in your group, all four of you, will get a guaranteed motive page of that style. Won't necessarily be the helmet specifically, but it will be from that dungeon. Now you might think, okay, well, hard mode is hard, and some of the hard modes uh, suck a lot of dick, so what if I wanted to do this just on normal veteran? What are my odds then? And your odds would be around 20%. And if you were to do this on normal, your odds are somewhere between 0.1 and 3% is what I've been able to gather in my Google searching. So why is that important to know? It's important to know because if you're completing dungeons, specifically um, your actual veteran dungeons of DLC, you know, flavors, it's important if you can to do these on, you know, veteran because a lot of these styles look cool. I mean, look at the true sworn helmet. It looks pretty sick. And a lot of these have a lot of value to them. And if you're already completing the dungeon and you feel like you have a good competent group, you're able to see if you can do a lot of, you know, the veteran you know, modes. So it's just something to keep in mind uh, while you guys are doing these. Now you might think too, is this the only way that you can get these modus? And that is the second part of the question that I want to answer for you guys. And that is, what are some other ways that you can get these rare motives? So we are at the happiest place on earth. It is the target of the Elder Scrolls Online. And if you're wondering what the Walmart is, the Walmart of the Elder Scrolls Online is definitely Craglorn. But we are in the, the pinnacle of the Elder Scrolls Online marketplace. We're inside of Mournhold, which is inside of Deshaun. Because I wanted to show you guys how many motifs are listed at any given time. In fact, there's so many <laughs> that it's telling me that some results may not be listed. Now, a great question that you may be wondering to yourself is, wow, there's a lot of motifs here. Did everyone get these from dungeons? And an important economic question and answer to that is no. There are a lot of Elder Scrolls Online events that actually allow you to pull from pretty much every motif in the game. Um, and even those included in dungeons, overlands, etc. And put it as a loot uh, pool for you guys. I always talk about that in my Market Watch videos, so stay tuned for that. Anytime there's an Elder Scrolls Online event that will specifically be giving you, you know, motifs uh, from those rare drops, I will definitely be covering it in those videos to make sure that you know which numbers are ones to look out for. Because you can see we got 42, 24, 34, 45, 17, 17, 22, 22, 17, 44, 31. There's tons of motive styles. In fact, there, it goes into the hundreds. As, as we get high, to the higher unit prices, you'll see as some of the numbers increases. So it's important for you to consider that a lot of what you're getting may be if you're doing one of those active Elder Scrolls Online events. There's none currently going on, um, but the, you know, the Zenthar event is a good example of it of one where you're able to roll for a lot of these different motives, you may be getting something that's worth a lot. Something that might be worth more than you might be thinking. The Mazatune Chess is, a, is another really good one that comes from a dungeon. It's 60,000 gold. 
um, which is a very fair price. Another thing to consider too is, is which pieces sell for more. Generally, just think bigger body pieces, helmets, shoulders, chest, sometimes legs, but rarely boots, hands, eh, belts, not really a whole lot. So keep those pieces in mind as well also as you're kind of going. And um, that's going to kind of wrap up the dungeon portion of the video. Now, just a brief thousand foot overview of the other ways that you can get rare motifs. For example, daily quests and DLC zones, you're able to get a lot of the Overland ones. There are some tied to specific vendors, such as the Undaunted Key Vendor, which is how you get your mercenary ones. I'm not going to go over the, all the nitty gritties, but just know that you're also able to farm daily quests. If you would be interested in rolling for a lot of these, in fact, as you can see, the mercenary chests, which comes from your undaunted keys. I have a whole video on turning undaunted keys to gold. And one of the things that you're able to roll for is your mercenary chests. So just something to keep in mind. Also keep in mind that this is wholly separate from monster helmet and monster shoulder. So there is always one monster shoulder in store. Right now it is from the Fungal Grotto 2 dungeon. Which means that if you were to complete Fungal Grotto 2 right now on Veteran Hard Mode, or if you already had the Veteran Hard Mode Clear Achievement, you would have the highest odds to get that helmet. That, however, is a style page and is completely separate from what we're talking about. But just something also to consider if you're doing Dungeons for Gold. Because at the end of the day, this can be a great way to make money. If you really enjoy Dungeons, you have a good group of friends that do Dungeons, you know, look out, seek out a lot of the motives and things that, you know, could be worth doing. I thought about making a video going over all of the overlands and which overland, you know, is worth farming for gold. You know, the specific sets that drop from there. I could also make a video on which dungeons you could profit off of. If you and your four friends are able to complete the veteran hard mode clear, you know, you could be rolling for motives that are worth hundreds of thousands of gold. So if you would like that video please put it in the comments below. And as a reminder, because this is where I wrap up the video, uh, please, if you'd like to be entered into the giveaway to help me get a tax write-off, help you get ESO+, Plus, all you have to do is one of two things, or both, I don't discriminate, leave a comment in the comments below and subscribe. We use it as a business, ex business expense, help me cheat the government, and help me lower my taxes, because taxation is theft. And I also apologize to you guys because for those of you who tuned into my live stream, I'm still tweaking my mic. Turns out my mic had a reverb all the way up because I was looking at it and I was like, why does my head or why does this external mic sound like this? And it's because I had the reverb all the way up. So I'm working on my audio quality. I do have a good microphone. I just don't I don't know how to to, to set it up, but um, just bear with me. I'm working on it. So. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you guys have more questions, ideas, comments, please let me know. You guys are definitely the number one source for my video ideas, and I just want to take this time to appreciate you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. You better remember to like and subscribe to Jake Clips. Or you should. I might have to pluck your eyes if you don't. Or, better yet, I'll skip rope with your entrails. Do it now. Subscribe. Ta-ta. Off with you.